because of our crown. I dare say that's the main reason why he gave us the Holy Ghost. You know, to tell others about him. Amen. Because he told them that you're going to receive power. Then he said you're going to be witnesses unto me. Yes. Amen. So living right is just your reasonable service. Right. Amen. 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 Sharing your faith. That's the key.
Thank you, Lord. And, and what else about sheep? Sheep, sheep, uh, uh, they got to be led, uh, not driven, but they got to be led to where they need to feed and to graze. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And, and sheep uh, are attracted to wolves. Uh, they're attracted to wolves. Yes. The enemy is attracted to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I say the enemy is attractive to us, I mean that the enemy sees us and he desires us. Yeah. Uh, Jesus said that <coughs> the devil has desired yeah. uh, to sift you as we. Yeah. Amen. The enemy desires us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Especially fat sheep. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Pump sheep. Uh, am I right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, so when we we're looking at. Uh, and going over the scriptures here. Keep those things in mind. Amen? Amen. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going to ask our reader to begin uh, John, St. John, chapter number 10, and, and verse number 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. He that enters not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Now, we all know, because it's red, written in red, that this is Jesus speaking. Mm -hmm. This is Jesus talking. Mm -hmm. And uh, two things that we should uh, notice about Jesus. The one, Jesus speaks the truth. Amen? Doesn't he? Amen. He speaks the truth. And another, Jesus, his ministry is really all about fulfilling prophecy. Fulfilling what has been written about him. Yes. Amen? Yes. And that's key, that's important. Am I right? Yes. So we see here, Jesus says, very, very, starts this off, very, very. And that, that really means truly, truly, or amen and amen. Mm -hmm. uh, but what he's saying is unquestionable. Yeah. Uh, it's undoubtable. Right. It's the truth. Amen? Amen. So he says, uh, truly, truly, or very, very, or amen, amen, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a what? Thief. A thief in the ground, uh, on a rock. So the door and uh, a sheepfold is a place where sheep go uh, uh, to be protected, to find rest. Amen. And the shepherd, he literally goes into the sheepfold and, and, and lays by the door to be able to protect the sheep. Amen. And, and uh, I know y'all, y'all from y'all Sunday school lessons, y'all, y'all know that, 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 uh, there, there's, there's sheep bowls are huge, yeah. and, and multiple shepherds have sheep in the sheep bowl. Amen? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And, and what Jesus is saying here is that, uh, uh, you gotta remember something about a sheep bowl, is that, the sheepfold is, is styled as a place of safety. It's a place of refuge. Amen? But do the sheep remain in the sheepfold? No, they have to leave out. They go out. Amen? To graze and to find pasture. Amen? To find water. Amen? And when they go out, they go out among uh, other elements that are in the world that the shepherd has to protect them from. Amen? Amen. All right. So we see here again, he said that uh, he's the door uh, into the sheepfold. He that climbeth up some other way, the same is a what? A thief in the world. Now notice, he said uh, the enemy, which is the devil, we might as well break it down, uh, and, and the sheepfold. It represents the church. Yes. Amen. It represents the church. Yes. Uh, and, and, and Jesus is that door or the entryway 
into the chariot. Uh, and he's literally talking about shepherds. Yeah. Amen. Shepherds. And uh, he said, he that climbeth up any other way, any other shepherd that comes in any other way into the sheepfold is a what? A thief and a robber. Now notice, we, a thief is someone who does what? Steal. Uh, and a robber is different from a thief. Uh, a robber is looking to <coughs> hold you at gunpoint or with a knife and literally looking to do some damage unto you. People who rob you normally hit you over the head uh, uh, and, 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 and shoot you, uh, try to harm you, knife you up, uh, try to kill you. Uh, so he's literally making an analogy to what the devil is. Uh, he's a thief. He wants to steal what you got. But not only that, he wants to kill you. Uh, take you out. Take everything you got. Amen. Amen. Uh, <laughs> so notice then, he said that anyone that comes any other way, any other shepherd that comes in any other way other than through the door is a what? A thief and a robber. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right, read. We in uh, John chapter 10, verse number 2. Read it. But he that entered in by the door uh -huh. is the shepherd of the sheep. Now notice, he says, anyone that entered in at the door, comes in through the door, the right way, amen, is the what? Shepherd. The shepherd. Is the shepherd is the real shepherd of the what? Sheep. Of the sheep. Read it. To him the porter opens, uh -huh. and the sheep hear his voice. And he called his sheep, his own sheep by name, uh -huh. and leadeth them out. Now, now this is the principle here. He said the porter huh, opened the door. Talking about the, the porter or the, the shepherd opens the door for the sheep. Notice. And the sheep does what? Here is the Here is the Now, we ought to be able then to hear the voice of Jesus. Amen? Amen. And so we ought to be able to distinguish uh, the voice of Jesus uh, 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 from the voice of the devil. Amen. Uh, Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and the voice of Jesus is literally manifested unto us through the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Amen. Why? Because the Holy Ghost, it speaks and teaches what, what Jesus, what he hears from Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I said he. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because it's the spirit of truth. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, so you have to be in tune when you receive the Holy Ghost, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, it, it's going to speak to you. Uh, to do what? To lead you and guide you. But you've got to be attentive and listen. Uh, because the spirit of the Holy Ghost is the spirit of what? Truth. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, now it's going to challenge the Holy Ghost or the spirit of truth or the voice of Jesus. It's going to challenge huh, your thoughts that are not lined up with his thoughts. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and then, when those thoughts are challenged, we have to humble ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Thank you, Lord. We have to submit to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. To the leading and the guiding of the Spirit of Truth. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And people that 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 don't adhere and listen to the voice of Jesus, they get killed. They get into trouble. Uh, they lead out from under his protection. The scripture says, he that dwelleth in the secret place uh, of the most high, they do what? Abide uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, thank you, Lord. When you, when you get beat and pelted upon and, and, and arrows are hitting you from the left and from the right and you go crazy, you try to lose your mind, you don't know what's going on, you are, you got literally uh, departed uh, of the Almighty. When you come to a point where you say things are unbearable, uh, uh, y'all don't, y'all can 
wouldn't take them straight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So, 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 you got to listen to his voice. Yes. Amen. You got to hear his voice.
which is in your heart. You are his servant. children of Israel. Uh -huh. He said, but you won't be overtaken. Right. You still will overcome. Right. Because, because my name is on you. My name. So, so God won't let us be overcome. No. He might let us go through some. He won't let us be overcome. Yeah. Because his name. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's powerful. Yeah. Amen. You got the name. You got the name of Jesus. Yeah. All that you do in word and deed, you do well. Yeah. In the name. My deacon field. What oh, I my deacon. <laughs> you know, I was thinking um, when you follow him, he's going to reward you. Yeah. What you got following you is grace, mercy, goodness. You know, as you follow him, goodness and mercy is going to be following you. Ooh. And so <laughs> you'd be better off to follow him. That's it. If, if he says, 
Make a left turn. Huh? What do I got to do? Make a left turn. Huh? Thank you a lot because I realize he's the good shepherd. Yeah. Huh? I realize that he's going before me. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. There's a, there's a route that I hate going uh, when we go to Jamestown. Youngstown. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Yep, all of that. My God. Why do I hate that guy? Huh? Nothing on it. Huh? No gas station on it. Huh? You got to fill up before you get it. Uh, to where you go. Huh? Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and you know, how many miles it is, but there's nothing there. Wow. Wow. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And you got to be prepared.
What other person is looking for? For first of all, our feet. And when he put it forth his own sheep, uh, he goeth before you. Now notice, he goes before you. Yeah. Read. And the sheep follow him. And, and the sheep do what? Follow him. The sheep do what? Follow him. We gotta do what? Follow him. We gotta follow him. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what I think, uh, no matter what Sam Joe think, uh, but what did Jesus come? Where did Jesus come? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we got to follow him. Amen. Follow me as I do what? Follow Christ. Isn't that what Paul said? Follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Follow him. So in order to follow him, I got to do what? Know his voice. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Listen, when he calls me by name. Yeah. And then remember, when he calls you by name, he's actually dealing with your character. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. He knows your character. Yeah. He knows who you are. Right. Amen. 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 Try the spirit by the spirit. Right. Amen. Don't line up. 
Listen, when the Lord was calling me to preach, yeah. um, I think I was trying to get out of it, but yeah, you know, I, 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 kept trying to, I kept trying to convince myself that God had clearly made a mistake and this was not what he was telling me to do. And this is my mind talking. And uh, I happened to be talking with Bishop Justice from Detroit. And I said, Bishop, I think, you know, there's three spirits at play here. There's God, the devil, and my mind. He said, well, first of all, Corey, the devil ain't gonna never tell you to preach God's word. Mm, right. He said, you gotta know what the voice of God. He said, this right. the devil ain't gonna never tell you that's gonna advance the kingdom of God. Uh, nothing. nothing. So that ain't the devil talking to you. Uh, Get that out your mind. Uh, so I had to learn that, you know, you gotta understand his voice. His voice. God's gonna speak his word, his will. The devil will never tell you to do nothing to advance the kingdom. Amen. So thanks for and, and, I don't know if you know Bible study, but the voice of the Lord is, is that written word of God. Yes. Yeah. It's his thoughts. Amen. And the Holy Ghost brings back that word uh, through and, and interprets the voice of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All right, good verse reading. The end of four. All right. And the sheep follow him. Uh -huh. For they know his voice. They know his voice. You got to follow up to Jesus. <coughs> Amen? You got to know his voice. Amen. All right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And yes. one good way to know his voice is to be in his presence. Amen? Amen? Amen. Be familiar with him. Amen? Yes. Amen. Know him. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, read it. Verse 5. Huh? And a stranger they will not follow. And a stranger they will not follow. They will not follow. <laughs> Amen? The devil is a stranger. Should be. <laughs> Whatever. The devil should be a stranger to you. Huh? Stranger. Huh? Should be a stranger. Amen? Amen. Amen. You don't follow him. No. Uh, you know his motive. You know what he's trying to do. Right. It's not Jesus. Right. Right. You, you belong to him, Jesus. Amen. 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 You belong to the devil. That, that's what ransom me. That's why he rescued you. Yeah. That's why he redeemed you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You were born with Christ. Yeah. You're not going to go. All right? Yeah. Um, he paid the ransom. <laughs> yeah. All right? Read. And a stranger they will not follow. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Read. But we'll flee from him. But we'll what? Flee. Run from the devil. Huh? And we ain't talking about being a punk. We ain't talking about being scared. Huh? We ain't talking about get away. Yes. Be like Joseph. Okay. Huh? When Potter's for a while was trying to get him. Yes. Huh? What did he do? He flee. He, huh? he ran. Huh? That was cold, but kept the victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. Get out of there. You may have to leave some stuff behind. But get out of there. Yes. yes. Huh? That's true. Am I right? Yes. Please. Run. Huh? Escape. Huh? Bible says there's no temptation that has taken you, but such as what? Common man. Common man. But your God is what? Faithful. Your God is what? Faithful. Huh? He won't suffer you to be tempted above that which you are what? Uh, but with the temptation, he's made a way of escape. Take the escape room. Yeah. Huh? So that he might be able to bear. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. Amen. My God. Yes, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. See, you know, sometimes you keep trying to open the door, open the door. Huh? Lord, trying to tell you, don't, don't do it. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Sometimes you try to get into a deal, the deal falls. Yes. That's a way of escape. Yes. Right. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Count your many blessings. Yeah. Huh? Keep it moving. Yes. Amen. 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 Say thank you, Lord.
die, you have to die yeah. in order to become a saint. Yeah. And I said, no, nah, no, nah. I said, uh-uh, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I said, I showed a couple of scriptures where it says, right. it says the saints. Truth. Saints. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. And people got to receive truth. Right. Amen? To be helped. Y'all ain't got to go out of We know the truth, though. Amen. We shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? And, and, and what, we, what we fail to believe sometimes that truth has to be, has to be, has to be taken. Uh, and, and sometimes it's bitter. Uh, but it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know, sometimes you gotta be cut before you be healed. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right? I, don't, I don't know why I'm standing on that behind the wall. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I got you guys. If you look at this right here, I got, hey! I got a knot like right here. Uh huh. Because I, 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 I was swung and missed and hit the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. The, the doctor, when I went to the doctor, he said, oh, we're gonna have to break that and reset. I said, you ain't breaking nothing. <laughs> and he said, well, <laughs> if you don't get it, he said, if you don't uh, let me do that, you're going to get arthritis in your later years. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I don't care what I'm getting. You ain't breaking my hand. Uh -huh. You know, but, but like you said, sometimes you have to hurt to heal. Right. And right. people don't want to be hurt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for us. Uh, it helps us if we receive it. That's what I said. Huh? Right. I, I want to stay here, but I'm going to move on. Go ahead, my sister. Go ahead, my sister. Say again, I'm sorry. Pain actually shows how humble you are. Pain shows how humble you are? Yes. Uh-huh. To God, I Yeah. Jesus unto them, but 
they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Now, because the parable was so important, God for them to catch it and believe it and walk in it, because it's a rule of life, amen, that ought to be obeyed. Jesus had to repeat it. Yeah. Amen. He had to repeat it. Amen. Because they didn't catch it. Wow. Sometimes we don't catch it at first. Amen. Right. But then thank God that He repeats it to us. Yes. Amen. Thank God. But 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 mm, uh, I'm trying to be nice here. <laughs> Amen. But uh, uh, don't be ignorant all the way. Uh, sometimes catch it. Yes. Huh? Receive it. Don't be insane. <laughs> Amen? Come on in somebody. Amen. Huh? <coughs> Listen. Receive. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Amen. All of you. Yes, Lord. God is gracious. He's merciful. Yeah. Isn't he? He's loving, he's kind, he's also a consuming fire. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Am I right? Yeah. His spirit will always strive with man. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Although God is limitless, but you have a limit with God. Woo. You follow me? Feel the shit. Oh, yeah, you do. All right, read. Said, now this parable spake Jesus unto them, but they what? Understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Ah, uh, so they didn't understand. It. Right? All right, read. Then said Jesus unto them again. Uh huh. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. He said, Truly, truly, Amen, Amen. Very, very, I said to you, he said, now play it. I am the door. Mm -hmm. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Meaning that I am the entryway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? No man can come unto the Father but by me. Uh -huh. Am I right? right? Thank you, Lord. He said, I am the door of the sheep. Of the what? The sheep. The sheep. The sheep. Huh? Of the sheep. Read. All that ever came came before me are thieves and robbers, <laughs> but the sheep did not hear them. Now, no, no, Jesus, he's literally fulfilling prophecy. Amen. Go over to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34. Let me go there with you. I can be with you. Lord, have mercy. I wish I had more time. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Heal who? 
the broken heart. Huh? That's right. To, to release the, the those that are captive. Yes. Give recovery of sight to the blind. Yes. To set at liberty them that are what? Uh -huh. Bruised. Amen? Amen. Uh, Jesus, he heals us. Yeah. Does he? Yes. Uh, we come in hurt. Yeah. Jesus heals us. Uh, can, I, can I talk to you? Yeah. Uh, can I talk to you? Yeah. Uh, there's something wrong if you're carrying around hurt with Jesus for 20 years. Mm. You still hurt. Come on! Yes. Huh? Yes. Come on! You still carrying around hurt for 20 years. The problem is not with Jesus. Huh? Nah, I used 20 years for a reason. Huh? But there should be some healing in this picture.
very much so. You can't be healed from pain when you're hurt mm -hmm. unless you forgive. My studying about when Jesus came to the man at the, at the well, at the pool. And the first question they asked him, will thou be made old? No. And I thought it was weird that you know, anybody had been here 38 years, of course he wants to walk. But then when you look into it more, um, well, as you read the commentary and look into it more, it tells you that some folks didn't want to be healed because it was a means of money. It was a means of that was their status in life. That's how they operated. They, they, they wanted to stay in that position. That's why Jesus had to ask them, Wilt thou be made old? Do you want to be here? I don't know. My sister. I remember when I was talking, somebody was talking to me about unforgiveness. <laughs> and I remember I thought about it. And unforgiveness is like a closed fist. Can't nothing get out. And can't nothing get in. How do you expect to be forgiven when you closed off? <laughs> how do you want um, how do you want forgiveness to get in your heart if your fist closed? How, and the only way that you can get the unforgiveness out, you have to open up. Open up. And then once you let once you open up to let the unforgiveness out, the forgiveness can come in. Come but as long as you got that unforgiveness in that fist, can't nothing get out and can't nothing get in. I, I, I forgot to say off. something on the order of what she said. Like, under, when you're walking around with pain or whatever it might be, you're hurting, you're having a pity party, you cannot grow. Nope. The very fact that you see that something is wrong mentally, yeah. it's up to you to go to God to ask him to help you. That's right. Because you realize you have a problem. That's right. It's not the other person. You have a problem. The reason you can't move, you got a problem. And it's affecting your mental capacity. So you got to be able to move. You know, you got to be able to keep moving. You can't be sitting around and walking around in a pity party feeling sorry for yourself because you've been hurt. Let me ask the question. If you go to him, will he go? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. And the right girl. He's a lawyer. Yes, he will. The help is guaranteed. Yes, it is. Yeah. Amen? Yes, it That's is. That's a desire. Yeah. Uh, you don't realize it, Bishop, but stuff like that actually affects your health. Uh, it yeah. will affect your health. Yeah. It's really yeah. real. Yeah. That's why you have to go on and get, get relief from that. My brother, then my sister. I'm just going to say the word of God says, cast all your cares. All. Everything that you're going through. Whether it's troubling you or not. He said, cast it on him. Cast it on him. Because why? He cares. He cares for us. Now, isn't that true? Yes. Did I have to go See this? Seven things. All right, go ahead. But even if you do, he, we know that God is there to help us. Yes. Even when we come to him. But what if he tell you something that don't add into your flesh? You got to learn how to shut up. And let go. I didn't finish the Bible study, that's all. 
not strengthen you. Uh -huh. Now this is what the Lord wants to do for you. This is him, Jesus. He wants to strengthen you. Yeah. Read Neither have you healed that which was sick. Jesus wants to heal that which is sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read Neither have you bound up that which was broken. Jesus will bind up everything that is broken. Spirit of truth yeah. in this place. 